So sometimes boondocking doesn't go as planned. morning from Stockton Pass, Arizona. So we are just getting ready. Today is a travel day. Michelle's doing the last few minute things there in the camper and we are all hitched up. We are disappointed to have to leave this area. It's beautiful. It's nice and cool, but it actually started drizzling today and it's the first time that we've had any rain in months, I think. Uh, but I think we're going to be driving into some rain at our next destination. So we're going to head down into Safford, Arizona to dump and fill up with water. Or no, actually, we're not getting water. We're going to wait until we get to our destination to pick up water there. But then we're meeting Rick and Teresa over in Globe, Arizona. They got a package for us. You'll be hearing about that in the future episodes. So uh, I thought we'd take you on a travel day today. We'll be back. Figured we'd just check in with everyone. Uh, we stopped on our climb back up out of the Salt River Valley and thought we would take a, a quick little shot of it for you. Michelle, thoughts? Oh, it's so pretty, so pretty. So we started around 6,000 feet, I think, after we climbed out of Globe, Arizona, and then we climbed down to 3,400, or declined down to 3,400. So uh, now we're just climbing again. We're at about 4,400 now, so we climbed about 1,000 feet out of the out of the bottom there with the Salt River. But we're giving the truck a little bit of uh, break, and the uh, I can smell the brakes burning on the uh, on the camper. Uh, so I figured I'll let those you know, cool off a little bit too while we're uh, here in this beautiful spot. Adjust your screen. The wandering shores are in a campground. So sometimes boondocking doesn't go as planned. So um, our travel day consisted of heading up to Sholo, Arizona, and we did that. We had about five boondocking spots laid out on our map. Um, prime one that Rick and Teresa had been to before, that's the one we went to first, but it's been raining the last two days and it was raining when we got there. So I walked the road, actually I ran it probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile up, and I was concerned that we would get stuck in the mud trying to get out. Um, because it's supposed to rain the next four or five straight days. So we went to a few of the other spots and we had the same situation. They were really muddy or one of them that we were gonna go to was full of uh, campers already and there was no place for us to go. So um, we ended up at this cool county park. It's called Show, S-H-O-W, Lake County Park. It is $24 a night for kind of dispersed or uh, for dry camping, uh, no hookups. Um, but so we're gonna stay here for at least two nights. That'll give us a chance to go scout some other areas um, and see if we're going to exert the effort to go and find another camp or a boondocking spot or if we're just gonna stay here, bite the bullet. Um, we're supposed to leave on Tuesday of next week and today's Tuesday, so we may just bite the bullet and buy or pay seven uh, nights here, we'll see maybe it's six nights, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're at. But we like our spot, it's nice. We don't have much solar, but we're allowed to run a generator uh, as long as it's not during quiet hours, which is 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So I wouldn't be running it then anyway, so. But we got some adventures here in Sholo and we're gonna take you guys along with us on those. Um, but right now we're just getting situated here in the camp spot. Kyle here, just checking in and wanted to give everybody a quick update. I am just taking a walk over to the other side of the campground where the lake is. I'll show you that when I get over there, but wanted to let you guys know what we decided to do. It's continued to rain a couple hours a day um, since we got here to Sholo, or we're actually in Pine Top, I guess, but we're at the Sholo Lake Campground. And instead of going out and worrying about getting stuck in the mud and everything else, we decided just to go ahead and bite the bullet and pay for seven days here at this campground. It's a nice campground, it's quiet, $24 a night. Um, it's clean and it's close to town and everything. And we were only gonna be in this area for a week anyway. So we just ended up doing that. So I am now just walking over to the lake. I'll show you when I get over there. 
and I'm actually recording videos. So for those of you who know, I started teaching at Southern New Hampshire University, and this semester I've got two classes. I've got a senior level wellness class, and I've got a freshman level social sciences class. And so what I do is each week I put out a video um, just updating the class on what the assignment is for the week. And I like to do it from different locations. So I'm coming over here by the lake and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm gonna do my update video from here today for the uh, students. So that's a little inside info on what we're doing. Let me show you the lake. It's beautiful here. Michelle's actually in town getting her hair cut, so when she gets back, I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, picking up an Amazon package over at Circle K. All right, just recorded my uh, week four introduction for my social sciences class and headed back over here to the campground. One thing I wanted to tell you about this campground, it's a little unique. It's adjacent to what is called Ponderosa Shadows. RV resort or a campground or I don't know exactly. It's a community of only Airstreams. So right on the other side of this little fence, let me walk you over here. Right on the other side of this fence, you can see there's a bunch of little plots of land with little huts or sheds or I don't know if people live in those things or if they're just for storage, but it's all Airstream community but it's called Ponderosa, Ponderosa Shadows. I've never seen something like that before, but I thought it's pretty interesting. The other thing, I, you know, I don't know the history here and uh, there's nobody really to ask, so I'll just surmise that I know what has occurred. Along this fence right here, which differentiates their their space from the campground there is like every 15 feet there's a do not trespass sign or no trespassing i mean it's it's pretty clear that there's probably been some issues in the past with campers i'm guessing going over and that's all private property it's a private community um but it also seems a bit excessive to have signs there's one two there's another one there there was three back there there's another one up, there's two more here, or there actually there's a third one there. Um, so along this, the fence that separates the two uh, plots of land, there is probably 25 do not enter or private property signs. Seems like it's a bit excessive, but you know, I don't know what the history of the, the troubles are that you've had, and obviously, you get good people and bad people both over there and over here and so i imagine it can get kind of rowdy at times here in the campground especially on busy weekends and things like that so it's just those people protecting their property but to me it's pretty uninviting and i don't think we'll be airstream people anytime in our lives but if we were that's kind of a a deterrent to me um just the way it comes across is very elitist but you know, sorry if you're an Airstreamer and you're following our channel, but I'm just telling you what I see and I'm just calling calling what I know from uh, the clear delineation between the two pieces of property. Looks like they don't get along very well. Morning, folks. Morning. Where, where are we at, Michelle? We're in the woods. <laughs> what, what hike are we doing? Sholo Lake. Yes. I think it's called the Sholo Lake Trail or something. It's only about two and a half miles. Um, it's an out and back and it's within walking distance from our campsite. So we headed over here. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm using my phone. I forgot the GoPro. But uh, we just came over here to get some steps in. It's beautiful. It's right around the edge of the lake. I'll turn the camera around here a minute and show you that. it to the end of the trail as you can see they got a big stop sign here I guess this uh, section from according to what I saw on the all trails app is if you continue to hike on past this it's actually bald eagle uh, endangered protected area so uh, yeah they're nesting area so they got signs here saying oh I didn't even see that part of it I just saw yeah, this section 
The eagles are nesting. Yeah, so uh, we can't go any further than this. So and we'll turn around. Yeah, we're going to abide by the rules. So hopefully other people We just finished up too. the trail. What do so, you think? Oh, I loved it. I, I really wish we could have gone all the way around. It was that beautiful. Yeah, it would have been nice to be able to walk all the way around the lake. Yeah. But uh, ended up being, well, by the time we get walk back to the campsite, it's probably going to be about three and a half miles. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Sholo Lake here behind us. So we're parked. Our camper is... <laughs> Right over that direction. I at some point I'm pointing to it, um, but uh, yeah, it's a really cool little trail, Sholo Lake Trail. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing today, Michelle? We're out hiking. We're on the Timber Mesa Trail, and this trail is seven and a half miles round trip. And it's, it's a loop trail. It's a loop trail. Yeah. Lollipop trail. So we're excited to hike this trail. It's just right outside of Pine Top slash Sholo, Arizona. But we're doing dual purpose today because after our hike yesterday, we enjoy this area so much, we're thinking we might stay a little longer than we had anticipated. So what we're going to do today after we're done hiking is we're going to go back to the boondocking areas that we got mudded out of before... Um, we arrived and check them out and see what they're looking like and then if everything looks good which I'm hopeful based on the condition of the ground here and we're not too far from where the boondocking spots are and as long as they're not filled because next weekend is Memorial Day weekend then we're going to move from our campground on Tuesday and stay here for another week in Sholo area and uh, We'll show you some of those scouting trips that we're going to take today to see uh, what we think about the, the areas. Uh, one of them's near the Panorama Trail, and then the other one, I've just got it marked as like Pine Top, Sholo, Dispersed. There's some forest road number, but uh, yeah, so we're going to do this hike. We're about a mile in right now, out of the seven and a half. There's about, I think, 500 feet of elevation. So far, it's been just like this hiking through the pine trees. It's gorgeous. It's a really good temperature today. I think it's probably about 60, 60 to 65 degrees right now, so it's perfect. Sun's out, so getting a little vitamin D. So we'll show you uh, what we see here along this trail. We just saw a pretty cool lizard. Uh, hopefully we'll see another one. So we're just taking a quick little break, and uh, this is a really well-marked trail. The White Mountain Trailmasters, I think, are the ones that maintain this. Every, probably every quarter mile, there is a T number. So like we started at T1 and we're hiking counterclockwise around the trail. So we actually started near the end of the trail and that was T29. So, um, but yeah, they mark it every, every quarter mile. And then also periodically they just make, they were like white diamonds. I'll show you some. Um, nailed to a tree I'll show you some when we get to it but uh, it's really well maintained it's really pretty um, there's also ATV uh, and OHV trails around the area as well we've crossed a, cro a couple crossings uh, along the trail we've crossed the uh, roads for the ATV trails so uh, two thumbs up so far for uh, Timber Mesa road uh, trail so we'll uh, keep you updated we are four miles in, which is the perfect place to stop for our snack break. And I'm going to show you what I brought today. I brought a bag of chicken and rice. I know, it's kind of weird. It's in a bag. I didn't have any clean yeah. small Tupperware <laughs> containers to put it in, so the bag was quick and easy. Fruit snacks for that extra burst of energy. And a granola bar. Kyle? What did you bring today? I got pepperoni. I had a clementine orange. And, oh. Oh yeah. Beef stick with cheese, but I'm gonna save that. <laughs> I think I got cheese in here too. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cheese, yes. String cheese. Definitely string cheese. But this trail is gorgeous. We love it. We're, I feel like we're deep, deep, deep into the woods and it's well marked. Um, so yeah. We are just about back at the trailhead and once we leave here we're going to go check out 
um, some boondocking spots. So um, hopefully we'll be able to find some good spots and uh, stay in the area for another week. As you can see from the, uh, fix the dead cat. As you can see from the uh, location, we are back at the camper. Um, we pretty much struck out. Uh, we went and checked like five or six different boondocking spots. One of them would have worked um, or will potentially work for us, um, but there's just not a whole lot there in that area. We checked down all the National Forest Roads. Um, the one spot we thought we were gonna go to the first day, there is a spot there. Um, there was nobody in it right now, but the road getting back was pretty rutted and rough. Um, and the other issue is it's really pretty um, tree covered with a canopy and so we're not going to get very good solar and I have concerns about how much Starlink we're going to be able to get either. Um, so I think we are going to talk about it a little bit more but we may change back to the original plan and head over to Santa Fe. Um, but we're going to discuss that today. I'm also going to maybe look for a couple places in between there and here um, because that drive is about five hours and uh, that's kind of at the the far end that's not even that's google time so that's not even like real rv time so um so we may stop somewhere in between here and there and uh, we'll keep you guys posted but uh, we're enjoying our spot here at sholo lake campground we got two more nights uh tonight is a sunday so we're going to be here sunday and then monday and then head out on tuesday so we may see you before then um, but uh, if not we'll be back real soon